Moving to Malaysia. 10 things you need to know before moving to Malaysia. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yvonne. Thank you for stopping by. Please do not leave without clicking that subscribe button below. The red subscribe button, please click it. If you're in any country planning to move down to Malaysia, these are the 10 things you need to know before moving to Malaysia. First thing is their weather. Malaysia is known for two weather. They have the rainy and the sunny weather. It start raining like towards the middle of the year. Sometimes the weather is extremely hot. What do you mean hot, hot, hot? At night, they also have normal weather. Most of my friends back in Nigeria, they always ask me, what's up, like, how is Malaysia weather? Malaysia weather is just like Nigeria weather. The second is their food malaysia is actually known for their amazing food guys back then in nigeria like i used to watch malaysian food in the tv i'm like oh my god what kind of food is this they have different type of food guys different type of amazing food if you're coming to malaysia and you're a foodie this country is for you but the most popular dish africans are used to is their nasi gori and their steamed fish I also did a street food if you want to see that video i'm going to link it up here or up here or i'll link it in my description below so you guys go check out that video me eating malaysia food for 24 hours their food is extremely cheap like their food is not like you're breaking a bank to eat in a restaurant their food is cheap what i love about it is they will prepare the fried rice in your present. It looks so exciting, guys. In dollar, is like two dollar. So that's why I said Malaysia food is very cheap, multicultural. Like Malaysia, they have three language joined together. They have the Malaysian, they have the Chinese, they have the Indian. These are the three multicultural languages that um, they have here. Malaysia is actually a Muslim country. So if you're coming here, you also know that and they also have different type of um, religion here muslims are mostly popular here in malaysia way of transportation so if you're coming here to malaysia trust me their uh, transportation is very cheap they have train station that you, you can use on um, a cab it's not that expensive and so you don't need to be breaking a bank like in terms of your means of transportation here i can remember when i was schooling here in malaysia i normally used their um their train to go to school to go to class like i used to board their train to class every day because it's extremely cheap but sometimes i use cab so you can also use a cab if you want so the next is the security malaysia is actually known for their good security guys you're coming here for a vacation you don't need to even bother yourself because malaysia is known for their good security so you can actually misplace your stuff and you go back to where you misplace your stuff and you find it there i can remember vividly when i left my purse in the mall i went back to the shop where i was shopping and they actually returned my purse to me like i feel the security here is just amazing if you're looking forward to a good country like you want to move down to a country to start a life i feel malaysia is known for their best security because i feel everyone thinking of moving to a country as first thing you think of is your security because you don't want to go to a country where you you get robbed you don't have that Zima security for you or for your family. No, Malaysia is known for their good security in case you're coming here. So you know this, the way of dressing. is a Muslim country, so what do you expect? Like they cover up well, like they cover up completely. Uh, I feel if you want to be respected when you're among the Malaysians, like when you go out, maybe you go to the mall, I advise you dress properly. That's when you get your Mazima respect from people because it's a muslim country you don't have to be dressing anyhow you want malaysians they dress they cover up here they dress properly they dress appropriately so yeah language malaysia what they speak here is malay they speak malay because it's a malaysian country but you don't need to learn their language uh, i've been here for so many years i don't even know how to speak their language it's not a must 
that you will learn how to speak their language but it's a plus if you you should learn how to speak their language it's a plus for you you can easily communicate with them when you go for shopping where you go to the mall the only language i know in malay is makan like i want to makan that's what like you want to eat that's what they call like food is makan i don't know like if i'm wrong you guys should not come for me but anyway so that is it and lastly um their currency their money so what they use here is ringgit uh they don't use dollar here i think they use dollar i think i think when i newly came here the dollar that i came here with i was actually using it so they use dollar like before you use dollar here you need to go change it to their currency which is ringgit and five ringgit is equivalent to one ringgit something cent in dollar it's not up to like two dollar let me let's just put it like one dollar that's what they use here they use ringgit here their five ringgit is equivalent to one dollar so yeah now you know the 10 things you need to know before moving to malaysia so right now get your passport and get your ticket and start coming to malaysia and yeah you love it because malaysia is like a tourist country and they have a whole lot of amazing buildings here guys trust me like they are known for their tall skyscrapers buildings and yeah you're gonna have fun trust me when i say you're gonna have fun i've been here for years and if you're thinking of coming here you will regret it so yeah if you got into this point thank you for tuning in i'm gonna see you guys in my next video i love you guys and thank you for sticking with me today i'll see you guys in my next video bye